This is a juried festival, which means all of the artists that you'll be seeing today were selected for the process. And I'm with a, a, a person who really has uh, accomplished a lot in the world of photography, Mark McKinnon. And Mark, you come from the Hudson Valley, but your work is uh, creating a lot of uh, reaction here at the East Hampton Fine Art Festival, and welcome. Thank you, thank you. We're next to a, uh, can I call this one of your signature pieces? The dump truck, yes, and it's actually taken in the town I live in, up in uh, the Hudson Valley, in the Poughkeepsie um, uh, Beacon um, area, Dutchess County. It's a, it's a construction site. It's very minimal. Uh, I tend to shoot most of my work during the winter in the snow. It's actually snowing in a lot of these, in these cases and over here. Um, I, I like the image to have a void of color. It's really not about calendar type pictures or postcard pictures. It's really about the image and, and drawing the viewer in, into what moves them. And people love this image here and it's one of my favorites as well. Mark, we're in front of three of your uh, examples of the work that you do. Uh, could we talk a little bit about these? These three pieces are working in harmony together and many collectors do collect them as a set. Mark, I noticed a, a, a bumper sticker here with your art, and it has some special meaning for you, doesn't it? It does. Um, I, uh, about a year ago to date, I went into uh, the hospital, um, Columbia Presbyterian in New York City, to, uh, which I thought was going to be an overnight. And uh, six months later, I come out with a heart transplant. And uh, it kind of, and since then, it's been uh, recuperating from that, which really, in my case, has not been too terribly uh, difficult. But you do have to go through all the regimes of biopsies and what have you. Um, it meant that I wasn't going to continue to do some of the work I was doing before, which was managing some commercial studios and doing commercial photography and so forth. So I decided that I would just concentrate on my personal work, which I'd been doing for about the last seven or eight years and showing it through a gallery in London and in New York City. Um, but now I'm taking on this art fair circuit and, and showing my work here and promoting, I put the bumper sticker out here, you know, I'm promoting organ transplant throughout the country as I travel to different locations. This is uh, my family. Actually, my, my daughter, who is not here, so there's four of us. Her name is Chantal. This is Ellen, uh, G. Suk McKinnon, <laughs> and Wesley. Look at the camera. Okay, very good. But uh, there is some significance with um, um, this heart that my wife is wearing here. It was our anniversary on June 20th of last year that I gave her this heart. That was before I knew I had a heart condition. And it was kind of remarkable that. Uh, the two were just a couple of weeks apart. Our viewers who are out there, the importance of uh, being a donor, sign the back of your license, make sure that you are a, uh, a donor because uh, you're saving uh, people like Mark, who uh, is now alive and with us and able to uh, enjoy his family and raise his son and, and create such wonderful art. And speaking of your art, the word appreciation comes to mind because from your photographer's eye you appreciate life and you appreciate the images you shoot. I do and when you, when you talk about that it means a lot to me to think that people they buy my art and they put it on their wall. I mean how many people can say and, and you know I charge reasonable you know gallery prices and to think that people will spend their good money and they want it on their wall um, it means a lot to me and it's different than doing a commercial type of job where some art director is telling you what to shoot and it's really not for any purpose other than to sell a product. I'm not selling a product, I might be selling myself but people can enjoy it for however long they have it or, or they uh, pass it on to somebody else.
Thank you, Mark, for being part of this and sharing your your story with us. And uh, for our viewers, you'll be here through uh, through Monday here at the East Hampton Fine Arts Festival. But you also have a website. I do. Uh, it's markmckinnon.com. And I also have a business called The Photographer's Place. And, and uh, so there's two websites, thephotographersplace.com.